I understand people's oh, upset please. because of the helmet taken off, right? I was never mm-hmm. really a Halo guy, so I don't have that connection to it. So that's why it doesn't mm-hmm. really bother me as much. But I can understand why, you know, people don't like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, it, I, I mean, so we're already talking about it. I might as well keep it going. Um, I I think in season one, the showrunner at the time was just so like nonchalant about the helmet thing, which is like, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like no one, like, but like, like, like almost like no one cares when that's mm-hmm. the only thing people cared about, you know? So yeah, it was like, for real. I don't know if they understood what, what the assignment was or you have to like ease into it to like, Hey, that's the video game. And I get, cause you are master chief. But now you're mm-hmm. watching Master Chief, and it's very different. So you have to ease into that that change of POV, you know, from from being yeah. the person to watch it. <laughs> and they didn't. They're just like episode one, cool, boom. You know, now it's like yeah. it's not the game anymore. It, it should have been more of a an ease into it. Um, unlike I this season, like the storyline wasn't strong enough in season one. So when you have a, a weak story and you don't really explain why why you're doing what this what, what everything is. Then you have to really lean on the game, you know. Mm-hmm. But if you have a strong story, this season has such a strong story that made sense. Like they planned it out way far in advance, so that kind of balanced everything out. But when you have a, a really terrible storyline, only thing you do is lean on this 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 game. And then you take his mm-hmm. helmet off when everyone knows you have to have a helmet on all the time. It just throws you for a loop. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And and you didn't even have any really good action. Like after the first episode in the season one, there's really no good action pieces like this one had. You know what I mean? And it just dragged on and the story was just like, what do we care? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why do we care about what's going on? So that's what I felt about season one. But when I seen this, like I said, I was I like the story. I was like, okay, they actually put a good story behind this. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. I'm digging it, you know? So they did a lot of good things in season two. It's just crazy how you go from very bad to very good in a season. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. kill all the main <laughs> characters. I was like, yeah. blew my mind. Like, yeah. 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 And, it, and it, it, it just doesn't stop. It just keeps happening. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my God, what are they doing? You know? And I guess that's a a, a, a trick to kind of like make things excite excitable about like watching it. It's like, oh, we're gonna mm-hmm. change things up, you know. I mean, the way season two ends is just like, like it's it's starting a whole new story almost. So it's like they fully yeah. got away from what everything, all that trash that was happening in season one, and mm-hmm. like, okay, now we're you know season three is gonna be almost like a fresh start, where season two was like we're gonna clean the mess and make it better and get it. Because, like, for me, season two was, like, you don't need to know what's going on from the games to enjoy what's going on here. Like, we we, we led you to certain things and certain people happening stuff. And, you know, I don't get into two spoilers yet, but things happen in the in the game from the show that happened in the game. And they explained it perfectly. And you don't mm-hmm. feel lost. You don't feel like, oh, man, I wish I would have played the game. Like, it, they explained things. And it was well done. Absolutely. Super well done. Yeah, um, we got some. So we, we're getting people hyped because I probably should check out Halo season two. Hell <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should. I wish we could do a yeah. walk, watch along. For real, <laughs> especially that that finale. That would be nice. Y'all make me want to oh, watch Halo. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, th- yeah, listen, that fight yeah. at the end. Uh, oh man, I was like, yes, <laughs> this is what I was waiting for. I, I was like, and he was like, I got it too. Like they were. Going at it, facts, yeah, and it looked it looked good though. You know, mm-hmm. it's like you know, Master Chief, he's in a, in a suit and got all this stuff, and then it's and then it's an alien CGI dude. You know, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I was really afraid it was gonna look bad, and it wound up looking flawless. Like it looked yeah. really really well like shot. So it, yeah, it, shout it, out to the visual effect people in that one. I don't think it would have been better if someone was in actual costume fighting. It's that good. No. Like, CGI doesn't matter what they did. It was just so well done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And little details, right? Because when Master Cheese has him down on the ground and he's punching him, you hear a crack. And yeah. then when they show him, you see that piece of his mouth is broken. I was yeah. like, see, I yep. like that. You know yep. what I mean? I really like that attention to detail. Yeah. How many? How much spoilers are we going to say? 
how far you want to go. I mean, we can, we can. I feel bad for Brandon, but we like he said he's all right. And even if we get into spoilers, okay. Brandon, I would still say watch it, man. Um, so we, yeah, we can go have at it. On spoilers. All right, then now, now I want to ask a question then. So, what's your favorite episode? Hmm. Mm. What's the season? Yeah, the season, I, the season finale I, I, was great. It was. I, I think it's episode four when you know things start to hit the fan and they start taking over Reach and stuff like that, and the war is just going on. And when Vanek dies, I didn't see that oh, coming. Wow. I was like, oh. Okay, this this the stakes, you know what I mean? I love stakes when they have these kind of things in shows where it's just like, oh, you don't know who's gonna survive. So I like that. I think it's episode four. Man, I from episode four on, like was was great. So that whole second half of the season. Mm -hmm. But I think episode seven was was really interesting. Was that that was the one where they were training the 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 the, yeah. the third generation right of, yeah of mm -hmm. that one is when it kind of kind of interesting because you're like man who who are the good guys you know what i mean like exactly you know and really i mean you always had that idea but now it's like shit you know and the way they took the guy that you thought was the bad guy and made him and, into like he's sympathetic because you're like he yeah. thought he was doing right and then he realized and he, even he was against what the hell was going on. This, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. like he—he he was just another pawn in the big picture, and you thought he was like one of the big guys, you know, one of the big assholes. Mm -hmm. He still was an asshole. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't <laughs> fix what he did in the beginning, but, um, but yeah, that that ep that's that seventh episode that sets up the finale. I thought was really interesting because that that's kind of a big episode. It's like if you want a big finale, you have to set it up, and that one set it up really, really well with 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 Kai. And the Spartans yeah. and stuff like that, or the Spartan threes or whatever they're called. So, what about you? You know, you uh, see, it's weird because like I feel like they they were setting up Riz being someone who's going to get out, you know, or die or something like that. Mm. And as soon as you focus on Riz, they throw that 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 curveball in episode four with Vanek, and I was like, whoa! And then even Master Chief getting you knocked out, and them them fighting without their suits. That yeah. was amazing and how badass mm -hmm. they were anyway and the mm -hmm. way they explained uh, they they uh described master chief and they said he's basically the biggest human you can ever you've ever seen <laughs> so, mm -hmm. which i just thought that was pretty cool um and how hard he was on riz and vanik and all of them you know and I th that was was great in that, that that early part but i have to agree episode seven when you realize everybody's a bad guy i mean in yeah. this infighting everywhere it was so well done. The Covenant, Covenant were in, in fighting. You know, we, we were fighting. Uh, everyone was, it was just crazy. Um, yes. You know, and I, ours, like Soren too. Soren and being a, once again, we see uh, being a black father, having this son, mm -hmm. right? And, his, you know, he you want to toughen him up. So it was, it was always that line of like, I'm trying to toughen this boy up and give him this opportunity to be this and also be, I'm, I have to protect him because he's still a little boy. Mm -hmm. And seeing that, that constantly being you know, pulled, pulled and plugged and plugged. And I thought that was really interesting. So I'm going to go with seven though. Eight was, was the finale and was great. I'm going to go yeah. with seven because there's just so much in there. But what you saw with, with son and all this stuff, I just thought that was so great. Even with, with the uh, Perez. You know, and her her stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I, I think everybody had some good stuff to do. That's what I really liked about this season. You know what I mean? And I have like some really good moments, like where a um, Master Chief first meets up with the guy. I can't remember his name. The white guy that he thinks is bad grabs him mm -hmm. by the neck and is like lifting oh. him off of the ground. <laughs> right? Yeah. The scene where he's talking to um. The other Spartan, and he's like, "I need you." Like, yeah. I think he killed it. He did a really good job, you know. But um, Joaquin did a great job as well. The acting was so good, man. So good. Yeah. What up, Tony? Shout out to Tony. 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 Um, I can't even say even Quan because before Quan before Juan? was annoying yeah. as crap. Yeah. And mm -hmm. here, this she <laughs> was a, such a star. Like she was essential to their whole story, and yes. I loved it. I didn't hate uh, what's the name? Uh, 
Cortana this year. I didn't. I didn't. I thought mm-hmm. Cortana was very interesting the way they did her, mm-hmm. and then him grabbing, getting her back, and him actually yeah. needing. I'm going to sacrifice my life, sacrifice his whole mission to go get mm-hmm. Cortana. That was um, just amazing too. Like, it's just yeah. like, oh, that man. was the best. Like, was that uh, episode? Was that seven or eight? When 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 he's going after the ship. And then the yes. lady in charge was like, "Like, why is he gonna go save a ship? There's no one on it." And and you know, like Halsey is like, "Oh, not to him. There is somebody." It was just like, like mm-hmm. "Oh my god!" It's like, like mm-hmm. it was so good because I'm like, "Wait, who?" I'm like, "Oh my god, it's Cortana!" And uh, it was it was so so. Dude. so awesome and then, that. Well, then when, and when then, Jacob died in, in four, I, yeah. Oh, oh. So mm-hmm. I think that's who Cleves is asking, right? He goes, "I got a question. Was the dude from Black Lightning blind?" Oh yes, no! So he's yes, talking he about um, wasn't that Jacob? Was no, the name? blind guy, the the light, the light skin guy, the light skin guy. Yeah. He played um, um, Tobias. Tobias, yeah, mm-hmm. or yeah. Black Lightning. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe yeah, he, he was, was blind in 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 the show. Right? In Halo. So yeah, what happened was, was Spartans get you know they have to take the whatever they get go through the, the the trial to go become a Spartan, and if you you're you're good, you're a Spartan. And if you're not, something happens to your body. So you know what happened mm-hmm. with Soren? You saw with his hand, right? So mm-hmm. with him, he was he went blind. He first the first day he was fine. The second day he got a little blurry. By day four, he was blind. And that's when he knew he could be a Spartan. And all of them had already trained for years to be the Spartan. But if you if something happens to you when you take in the stuff, you're out. You're no longer a Spartan. Mm-hmm. That's it. And that's what happened to him. He had to figure out ways to be with his do with his life. And that's yeah. why it connects so much with Riz, because I mean, she she's doing that same thing right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. How'd you, how'd you guys feel about? Would you guys you gonna say something, Hanzo? No, go ahead, go ahead. No. Well, I was gonna say how you guys feel about like his whole crew. You know what I mean? You know, we we had what happened with Riz. We had um, with uh, um, was right. Van, uh, Vanek, um, Kai at the end. I was um, pissed at Kai the entire time. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. I, I know. Not being pissed anymore. Okay. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, just like how much Master Chief has to deal with emotionally that he's kind of pushing away for now, mm-hmm. you know. And he hasn't fully dealt with everything that's going on with the people closest to him. Uh, mm-hmm. I, is is that going to affect him, or what do you guys think about that? I think it's going to have some sort of effect because they kind of hinted to it in these episodes where Vanek mm-hmm. and he was like, you know, you know, he's a Spartan and he tried not to show emotion. But you could see it when he grabbed that dude, it, he was like, I'm avenging my friend. So there's some hurt there that he's holding on to. And now that, you know, Kai is dead and. It, yeah, Kai is not dead. dead. I guarantee you guys. I don't think. So. I don't think. Oh yeah, that's right. Because they show her in space, right? Yeah. So I don't think she's dead either. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't think she's dead either. Right. Yeah. At yeah. the end, I think there's a possibility that Riz comes back to the fold too. I know she's broken yeah. down and all that stuff in her body. I think someone they attack that planet, and Riz goes ham, and then realizes she's ready to fight for this planet because she. You know, fell in love with this. She did all these things and fell, you know, fell for somebody, and they ruined her family. And she comes back to the fight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, by all means, she's basically still good. She's just hurt. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. she realized, you know, she wanted a life and family when she was in that planet and stuff. So, but she's probably going to have to come back to fight, like you said. Then maybe they'll attack the planet. I also think that Sauron might try to get back into the Spartan program as well. You know? I think so. so I think they're going to make him. Yeah. yeah. The best times were when with him and Master Chief together. Because mm-hmm. it's funny. I think what Halsey said. She said, "We had to let you go because as long as yeah. you." Were there, Master Chief would never become Master Chief. He would yeah. ne- John would never be Master Chief because he always looked to you for leadership. So we let you go. You didn't escape. We let you go, which was mine for him. Yeah. He was like, yeah. Well, I mm-hmm. So yeah. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden we pulled everyone back and decided to let you go. Yeah. And then yeah. when um they're fighting, and he's like, that's all you got. And then that big one comes in, and he's like, "Oh, I shouldn't have opened up my mouth." I was like, yeah, that's yeah. funny." Yeah, I I, li- I like him a lot. You know, like he's Me too. he's witty. 
you know, and and he, he's very badass. You they, he, you saw that in uh, mm-hmm. in episode, I believe, in the eighth episode or you know seventh episode when you know he's trying to save his son and stuff like that. Same. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, he beats the shit out of, like what four guys, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but even his story is gonna change a lot. You know, like now he's uh, you know gonna be a single father and how oh, he handles the, that, all the deaths of, of his. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. yeah, oh. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That was and, that was rough, and even um the other sacrifice with the the commander, the general, or whatever. You know what I mean? That's what, and he's telling everybody to get on the ship, and then he doesn't get on, and everything blows up. I was like, dang, they really they went all out and killed everybody in this. That's why I was talking about with Jacob. When Jacob he goes out to go, you know, release the gas and all that stuff, and he's out there, mm-hmm. and he knows he's gonna die, and he's like, mm-hmm. you leave, and. Everyone's like, no, no, don't do it, don't do it, and sacrifice. And I was like, he's the one person that I thought was in, that was in command that was actually a decent person, and we lost mm-hmm. that. Oh, mm-hmm. God, this is mm-hmm. awful. It's, yeah. it's almost like they did it on purpose, you know. Like anybody who 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 had a moral compass that could oppose them, you know, like, mm-hmm. hey, maybe we shouldn't do this, you know, like. She made sure they were all gone, you know, and, yeah. and the one dude who she thought was kind of on her side, I'm being just super cold blooded. He wind up turning too, you know. Mm-hmm. So like, mm-hmm. you know, just the power of Master Chief, I guess. Get some. But what do you guys think of the virus that started popping up? The flood. Yeah, wow. I knew that was coming. First off, oh really? Okay, I knew, and I was like, especially when 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 they went back and grabbed it. And Halsey mm-hmm. grabbed it, and, and her, her daughter grabbed it, and I was like, "Don't you grab? Don't do that." You knew <laughs> it's always you, you think you're better than one. You uh, keys always thought that you know I'm smart. I'm trying to be smarter, smarter than Halsey. I'm trying to be mm-hmm. better than my mom, and that mm-hmm. type of energy is just not good for the whole Earth. And literally, you kill almost ha- half the population because of that. Because you think you're smarter. Because you need to know everything. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens. People it, that think they know everything and want to want to oh, think I'm better, I'm smarter. Those are the ones that kill you, kill everybody. Is that something from the game? The flood, no. yeah. No, the, the flood what? is not, not not the way it happened. That is not how it happened. No, the, no, it, no. It, but, it changes, but there is a like a hive, basically. I got you. Kind of stuff. Okay. And they're 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 kind of crazy, you know, with with their mm-hmm. powers. But yeah, but the flood is it is in the game. But I believe I'm trying to remember how it was. Introduced in the in the original ones, but it I wasn't. It was I know like, it wasn't like that. It was not it was like, like that. Zombie or something like that. It was. It's almost like like that. I, I haven't played Halo in such in like so so long at this point. <laughs> I yeah, thought it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. I thought it wasn't that long ago, and then I realized it was like 2003. 20, 20 years ago. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, the flood is the the thing from the game, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, and it, it's but again, like you don't need to know what's going on in the game because they right. explained it so well and they introduced it. I thought in a very smart way where they connected like that with with what's going on with Quan and and everything, you know. So mm-hmm. you know, like it's it's well very well done. You know, what I mean, like how I feel like they're gonna connect the the flood the virus things with like like the certain people like like uh Mackie and and uh Master Chief you know mm-hmm. so like cuz it's all connected somehow and they're going to do a yeah. pretty good job at at it it seems like um oh there was one part where where I was just completely like like taken back so when mm-hmm. when uh Kai and her group are going on to the the ship and they're like, oh, the it's the debris. And then Kai's like, oh, that's the first wave. That's not the yeah. debris. Mm-hmm. And then they, mm-hmm. then they start kind of showing it more. I was mm-hmm. just like, I, I remember like going back in my seat. I was like, wow, that's yeah. messed yeah. up on so many levels. That's so crazy. Like they're dodging dead bodies of their friends. And that was just like, like I, I legit just sit back and was like, wow, oh, man, this show is getting, this show is getting like really really into like some of this emotional like messed up trauma shit yeah you know, yeah you know for, especially for soldiers you know for like mm-hmm. you know, soldiers so i was just like yeah. damn 
That was rough. I always felt like that was almost the main thing about you know soldier having all that trauma, having a post um, PTSD. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. very much about that. Um, yeah. When you saw, uh, we saw Kai, saw everything that Kai, I'm not Kai, uh, what uh, Riz was going through. So you saw, you knew that, and then you see everything that um, Perez, Talia Perez was, was going through. Mm -hmm. Lost her entire family right before her eyes, and then had yeah. to go by, go back and fight after even reach. That was a, one thing, and then you see what Master Chief is dealing with all the time with you know. Lose, losing Riz now, and now you know losing Bannock. Like it was all about trauma the entire mm -hmm. time. Even, even Maki. We yeah. talk about Maki. She yeah. was only there because they called it basically was like human garbage, and mm -hmm. they left. You know, let her just be. You know, nothing. So that's mm -hmm. trauma that she from her growing up. All this comes from trauma, and I thought that was like kind of like an underlying thing that you know uh, thing that was, was happening. And and to your point as well, right? The Spartans they got rid of their chips, so they've they've had their feelings and everything suppressed for a long time. That's why you can see Master Chief is having a hard time dealing with some of the stuff he's dealing with, right? And I like that they put that aspect in there. It's like okay, like for so long you haven't had feelings, you didn't feel nothing, and now all of a sudden you get feelings. You have people dying around you. You see what's going on. And from the start, he was always trying to do the right thing. You know what I mean? And that's part of the story that I really liked. It's like, wait a minute. Why doesn't no one believe Master Chief? What's really going on here? And you find out there's mm -hmm. some stuff going on in the background that I was like, okay, this is well done. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Just even like the heartbreak he got from, from you know, the quote unquote betrayal from uh, Kai. You know mm -hmm. that, and and every and, and every time he was kind of told to deal with it, for the most part, he kind of just like, oh, I can't deal with it now. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. know, like, oh, that's your friend right there. He goes, that was my friend. He goes, yeah. my friend died. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like, damn, mm -hmm. that's that's mm -hmm. cold blooded, man. You know, mm -hmm. but that's, that's the stuff like that's the yeah. story. Yeah, you know? that's what you got to say and do to kind of move on and and deal with it later, but it, it's it's it was it was rough, man. You know, seeing a lot of the mm -hmm. trauma. You know, kind of some of it being dealt with with like Riz and uh, and some of it being like, uh, was it a uh, compartmentalized? You know, mm -hmm. with like uh, with uh, John. You know, so you know, seeing how it affects everyone in different ways was was it was I think a better way to go about a show about Halo. You know, I mean, yeah, it's 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 about this whole thing, Covenant and aliens and shit. But it's also like military soldiers. You know, what I mean. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. and people at the end of the day, so I thought it was super super well done. And that's the smartest way to do it because Halo honestly was for PO, you know, a personal PO, POV, like your mm -hmm. point of view. So now you're putting yourself in their shoes, and you you can get empathy for the way they're they're actually living their life. So it made it more real for you. So you already know how it is in the game, but now you're thinking about it how it's in real life. If you were in that situation, how you would been affected. Or what they have to deal with on a daily basis, or what the yeah. what the leaders literally do to the people, you know, to you know these 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 waves of people. They're just mm -hmm. things. Expendable. They think about like yeah, yeah, they're yeah. totally expendable, like whatever. Mm -hmm. And it, it was so under understandable why everyone was. It was so emotional the entire time because mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. were really seeing it from a, a different point of view. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and they give you that in this show, right? You have them saying that they're expendable, right? You have that. Yeah. You have people dying and you can see that he's holding it in. But when he grabs the guy, he's like, this is for my friend. So you know it's bothering him. You know what I mean? But he's not showing it. So they did a really good job of showing all of that kind of conflict that they're having. Yeah. And, and kind of like what Brian was saying, like I think that's the difference of Season one, where you're not that character anymore, so you need to watch it. But they 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 had a hard time you connecting with with these characters, you know. Mm -hmm. And season two, they they, they kind of fixed that a lot. And I think that's what a lot of people why they gravitated towards gravitated uh, gravitated towards it was was you were able to connect with with either John or Riz and like oh I've I've had loss like that or you know this you know mm -hmm. is hard for me to to deal with. So a lot of that stuff I thought was like. If you're not going to be in that point of view, 
at least be able to connect with what you're seeing, you know, and they did that really, really well in this season, you know, you know, so, um, and then also I, was, I wanted to ask you guys, like, so from the first episode, he, to the last episode, all that in between, he did not have his helmet on, did not have the suit on mm-hmm. at all. You know, at least season one, he had the suit on almost all the time, um, yeah. but never the helmet. Here, he didn't even have nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> and you, ve- you, you know, I think Kai was the only one in the suit most of the time. Yeah. Um, did that work out in the end, or should should we have gotten him in a suit like the whole time? You know, like fix what they messed up in season one and just have him in the helmet all all eight episodes. What do you guys think? Um, I think they did it well, right? Um, I said this before. I'm like, when you have actors and they're doing shows like this, they don't really want to be in the suit all the time. They want to have their face shown, right? I understand that, you know, it could be for people who play the game, it's like an issue for them. Like, oh, he's not supposed to take off his helmet. I get it. But for me, if you do something well with it and explain a story to reason why he's not doing it, I think they explained that in this season as to why he doesn't have the suit. I was like, yeah, it makes sense. So I was, and it showed he was bad without the suit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like with or without the suit, that's Master Chief. So I really like that. So I didn't have an issue with him not having the suit at all, to be honest with you. Yeah, based on on what little I've seen of this season so far, um, at this point, I've gotten used to him not wearing the helmet. Um, So, you know, it's kind of like, oh, you know, what, what, um, what really? What what does it matter if he doesn't wear this the suit as well? But no, no. Um, just kind of all snarkiness aside, it 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 didn't take away anything from me at this point in time. Um, as far as what little of the narrative I've seen, you know, it it, it works it works for for the plot. So mm-hmm. it doesn't. Um, you know, I w- I wasn't really irked by it. Yeah, yeah. I, right. I always thought. When he has the helmet off, he's John. When he has mm-hmm. the helmet on, he's Master Chief. Mm-hmm. And helmet on, they're trying to show him in war plays. And the helmet off, they're trying to show the inside the, of the man. Mm-hmm. And him trying to deal with it. And I thought that was pretty apparent of how they did it in this season. More than, because it was kind of convoluted. In, in that first one, because he had Cortana and has, he had his helmet on. I mean, mm-hmm. he was doing emotional stuff. They anytime he was dealing with personal stuff, he was like a man. Anytime mm-hmm. he was dealing with war stuff, he was in his suit. Besides episode four, so I felt like that was a good way for them to do that. And then it made it more epic in episode eight when he's in his suit. Mm-hmm. How yeah. awesome he's like, I'm yeah. Master Chief again. He's like, let's go. Like I told you, I got up and said, Master Chief. Yeah, me too. It was him. <laughs> you know, that, me that was too. I, yeah. I want to make sure he is him. Like <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and the scene where he actually goes to help the Spartans, right? Where you think he's yeah. and then there's that smoke and there's just the fight. I was like, yo, that that was tight. He cleared, that you see tight. him yeah. like just whooping ass. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I think yeah, that was Master Chief. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and like you said, I think that's the best way to do it. Because as soon as soon as that helmet went on, like I mean, even before mm-hmm. that, he when he was looking for his suit. You're like, oh, yeah. he's gonna mess stuff up, man. <laughs> yeah. And then he, you know, got it on, put the helmet on, and you're just like, oh, here we go, man. He's gonna tear mm-hmm. stuff up, and he did. And and mm-hmm. I think that's the smarter way to do it is is like 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 Brian said, like have the human stuff, have the person you can connect to, but have it be a special moment is when he gets fully suited up. Like, mm-hmm. all right, we're we're gonna get some action. We're gonna get the Master Chief that we kind of know from the video games. But that should be like like sprinkled in here and there, you know, in in certain air in certain times, you know, like obviously mm-hmm. big fight scene, you know, and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't have to be every big fight scene because episode four, huge, 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 you know, Cracks. epic battle, and didn't have it, you know, and and it, but it made when he put the helmet on even more epic. So yeah, definitely mm-hmm. agree with that, Brian. So. I mm-hmm. thought that was that was, that was so good because I know Brian watched it before I did, and he said like I think he texted us that day. He's like, "Oh, master, you know, motherfucking cheese." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay," and then I, 
<laughs> and then I, I'm like, when he put the helmet on and he started doing all this stuff and he, and he ripped the dude's free jaw off. And I was like, mm-hmm. I'm like oh, shit. I'm like, oh, I, mm-hmm. I get what Brian was saying. <laughs> like, no, mm-hmm. I was like, let's Got it. go. That was yeah. so good. <laughs> Yeah, and I, and I think I agree with you guys. The build up to that, right? That when it finally happens, and he just goes all out. I was like, man, they really, they. You see, some shows they don't do that well, but this season did that really well. The build up, and then what happens after he puts it on? You know what I mean? It's not just like okay, puts it on, goes to the hill. No, he goes. He saves the Spartans. Then he goes to the Halo and whips the arbiter so i was like yeah that was tight man yeah yeah but well, even the- perez you know perez sees him i believe before he puts the suit on yeah or just yeah right you know, oh, and so- she was like oh you're gonna come help us right it was before oh, so you know, no he, he had it on okay he, he by had time it on. onto the ship yeah, yeah all- and perez because she was shaking and stuff like that and yeah okay hey, through the you know i was like look soldier get ready get right whatever we're gonna do this and then all of a sudden you see through the smoke. Mm-hmm. You see like just these 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 guys that just get thrown around. Like what's going on? What's going on? And, and, and is it him? It reminded me of I don't know if you guys remember uh, Transformers. The, the, the um, Transformers. It was like this movie in like nineteen eighty nine, whatever. The, anim- and, the um, animated one, right? Yeah, Optimus Prime is dead, and all of a sudden you see it rolling over, rolling up the, the hill. Like you know, he's he's coming back. He's coming. He's coming. That's how I felt. I was like, he's here. He's here. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. made it. Master Chief is here to save the day. He's whooping everyone's ass. I just thought that was so awesome. So yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It was it was it was an awesome moment. Um he, was there anything you guys didn't like about the season? <laughs> to be honest with you, no. Uh, as yeah. I think about it, no, I'm gonna watch it again for sure. But yeah. No, I don't think there was anything that I really like. Okay, I'm not feeling that right. Like every episode, I'm I'm posing like, "Yo, episode is good." That's another banging episode. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I can't. I'd have to go back and watch it again and be like, "Okay, so yeah, I missed that the first time around." But on the first run, no, nah, there was nothing I didn't like. Yeah, yeah. And I'm um I'm not I'm not far enough into it, and a lot of my resentment is 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 um. Still kind there. of, kind of residual, res, residual, um, uh, residual burning from from the first season that just kind of carried over. So um, yeah, I, I just I just got to finish it up because it it took it took a lot of convincing for me to watch to start watching this season. By episode I don't four, blame I think you. you'll forget it. Yeah, me too. Exactly. I don't blame you, man. After the first one, I'm like you. I was like, why would I even bother waste my time with this show again? Like, I had no plans to watch it until it was one of those boring nights where I said, all right, let me see what they're doing, you know? But I was like you. I was like, nah, not interested. But I'm yeah. glad I watched it. Yeah. Um, For me, I think the it's not bad, but I thought the first episode was weird because I'm trying, like, okay, how are they going to continue the story? And it's it's episode one just started, and I'm, like, I'm kind of confused, yeah, you know, they, for they, most they, of it. No, no, no. Like, you start off, like, um, the, like, I don't know the spoilers, the first episode. But you start off, you're, like, what's going on? I, yeah. Like, wait, is it a dream? I'm The whole time I'm thinking it's a long-ass dream. Then you find out, like, oh, they ripped Cortana out of them <laughs> off screen. They did all these things off screen. Mm-hmm. And and kind of continue the uh, like a new ish story, you know uh, that Cortana. It was on screen. No, last, last season. No, yeah, I think they did. Yeah, I think they did yeah. it last season. I really heard last season. Yeah, then yeah. he he went in and the I thought the well that's how much I probably hated that last episode. Yeah, so they they, they, they got rid of her the helmet with him and it was so stupid, you know. And that's yeah. all I remember with with Cortana taking over. And and he, you know, yeah, she did. But then uh, after that, he got rid of Cortana, and they they got she did it because they feel like that she was the problem with controlling him. So they got rid of Cortana. Okay, See, I don't remember that. So I, that's probably why. But I mean, like I said, it wasn't even a bad thing. It was just like a confusing thing for me. It was like I was kind of like, what what's going on, you know? But you know, by the end of the episode, you're like, oh, okay, I'm I'm mm-hmm. I'm caught up enough with what's going on. Yeah. Where, yeah. And she's actually in the suit now and not in his mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So I think that was an issue that a lot of people had from the first season too, and they fixed that. So now she's actually in the suit and not in his head. Yeah. Which I like yeah. better. I like that better, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because the whole like being able to read his thoughts and, and everything like that, I thought it was a little too much because I was just like, mm-hmm. you know, and then they they kind of made him like like romantic in some almost in the, way. Yeah. But, uh, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Like there was this weird three way. Yeah, you know, between him, yeah. Mackie, and, and Cortana was this weird, you know, love triangle thing, and mm-hmm. I, you know, because it made no sense on on any level between any of them, mm-hmm. you know. So, mm-hmm. you know, and I thought they fixed that. But, you know, Cortana and Mackie's relationship was was interesting this season. Yeah, you know, you know uh, Mackie and and John and John and Cortana, like it, all of that was just fixed. You know, and it was just so much happier. <laughs> And then like, at the end, yeah, Mackie on one side and John on the other. Yeah, mm-hmm. and not worry about no. We're we're on opposite sides. John explained it like, look, we are you trying to do this. I'm trying to save it. Mm-hmm. We are totally yeah. different. We are not the same. And I, I feel like having defined roles really worked out for them. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. And and the fact that. You know, because um, like I said, they had that love thing in the second one. Thought maybe they'd kind of rekindle it in this one or some kind of way, but not really. And Mackie actually showed her loyalty to the Arbiter. You know what I mean? She burned mm-hmm. her chest and everything. She's like, I am you, you are me. So I like that, too. I think that it was better they went that route than to try and do this mm-hmm. love triangle thing again. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was It was weird. Um, and then with the ending with... Uh... With Guilty Spark popping up, how'd you get? Which is, um, if you don't know the game, it's, um, I guess like the speaker for the Halo. Yep. I don't, I don't know how to like how like, but he like represents like you know the voice of of Halo. So you know he's I not you. he's not actually the Halo. He's more of a a representative Represent- representative yeah. of Halo. Um, how'd you guys like like? that you know with with popping up um didn't play the game so i didn't really have any reference to that part mm-hmm. but it just had me interested in where they're gonna go in season three i was like okay this is kind of interesting so i'm excited to see what they're gonna do with the next season yeah i i liked how they they had both had to tell their story to them like and explain why why they're here and who they are. Saying so, even said at the end, I, I I enjoy trying to get to know who you, to know you. Uh, mm-hmm. Go ahead, you're allowed to go on, but you know this is going to be it's going to be more. You got a lot more to do, but mm-hmm. yeah, this is not the end of your journey. This is just the beginning. I thought that that was really cool the way they you know kind of set that all up, and even how John was explaining everything to him the entire time. I just I like the storytelling aspect to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was really good. Even the part where John was like, "Oh, don't trust her; she's dangerous," and and then he's like, "Oh, that's what she said about you." <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like very interesting. You know how mm-hmm. how both sides think they're right. You know, and if you ever play like a video game stuff like that, um, Halo kind of does it. You know, um, 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 like World of Warcraft kind of does it too. You know, it's like the other side thinks they're the good guys. You know, mm-hmm. and. And they have reasons, which which I kind of think in season three, the first episode is going to be a copy of the end of this season, but with her. You know what I mean? It's yeah. going to be with her telling telling um, um, the guilty spark her side of of everything. You know, so now you kind of caught up with with the, both sides of the story. You know, because right now you only got his. You know, mm-hmm. so, yeah. Nice. Um, anything else? Anything else I might have missed? No, I mean, because this is not. I admit, I didn't like. It was just good. I like, yeah. I like, like the family aspect. I, I loved all of them. Every mm-hmm. single one of them. I feel like were there for a reason, and they did well. I yeah. agree. Yeah, I agree. all, all the yeah, obviously, John got fixed, Master Chief, but even all the side characters, you know, got a lot of love, and and yeah. and that's that's hard to do sometimes. And I thought they did it in a in a really good way. You know, because you don't need to spend a whole like hour long episode on each character just enough sprinkle it in mm-hmm. you know what's going on with this person that person 
So, and then yeah. they wrapped it all up so they were all at the same place. That yeah. was good. Yeah. 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 It's real. It was well done. That's our kind of like thoughts of the entire second uh, second season of Halo. Um, it's streaming now on Paramount, so we all recommend it. Go watch it right now. It's 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 worth you know the what's it five bucks or whatever. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's, five it's like five dollars a month. Yeah, I mean, it's one month. It's one month. Watch it and then you cancel it because I don't know if there's anything mm-hmm. else on it right now. So. Hey, two time, I mean, I watched Star Trek. I was watching Star Trek the next oh, yeah. generation today. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I caught on there. And, and, and they have the original TMNT animated series they and a bunch of Nickelodeon did. stuff. Yeah, they have a lot of Nickelodeon stuff, which is what I watch a lot of. Um, so I might uh, just go ahead and keep it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice for that. Um, but yeah, but check it out. We appreciate it. Um, thank you, Anzo, for joining us for this uh, season two uh, breakdown. You want to give a quick shout out to your channel? Yeah, guys, Big Afford Entertainment. Just type in the name. It's there. I just appreciate you guys for having me on, man. It was fun. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Man. Dude, thanks for joining. Yeah, you, you're always welcome here, man. You know that. So, but cool. It. Um, that's it from us. Thank you again, Anzo. Thank you guys again for watching on the replay. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go check out Anzo too and hit that subscribe button over there. Um, but that is it. If you're live, stick around because we're going to move on to our next topic. Thank you.